Spark Streaming provides the functions like map, flat map, filter, and count exactly the way RDD provides. Spark Streaming creates temporary RDDs from the streams of data and run these functions on top of these RDDs. We have already discussed these functions earlier. Let us discuss a very important operation. Update state by key. Why do we need update state by key? In the last hands-on on Spark Streaming with Kafka, we just printed word count in the batch interval of 10 seconds. Let us say we also want to count each word seen in the input data stream in the last 24 hours. How do we maintain the running count of each word in last 24 hours? To keep track of statistics, a state must be maintained while processing RDD in the D stream. If we maintain state for key value pairs, then the data may become too big to fit in the memory on one machine. We can keep track of state easily with the update state by key function of Spark Streaming Library. The update state by key operation allows us to maintain arbitrary state while continuously updating it with new information. To use this, we will have to do two steps. First, define the state. The state can be an arbitrary data type. Then specify a state update function to specify how to update the state using the previous state and the new values from an input stream. In every batch, Spark will apply the state update function for all existing keys regardless of whether they have new data in a batch or not. If the update function returns none, then the key value pair will be eliminated. Let us understand with an example. Let us say we want to maintain a running count of each word seen in the input data stream. Here, the running count is the state. It is an integer. We have defined an update function. This update function is applied on a D stream containing word, comma 1, pairs in the earlier hands-on. The update function will be called for each word with new values being a sequence of ones from the word, comma 1 pairs and the running count having the previous count. Let us understand the update function. It takes two arguments, new values and running count. If the word appears for the first time in the input data stream, its running count will be none. If running count is none, update function sets it to zero. When the same word appears for the second time, new values will have sequences of ones and running count will be zero. It adds the new values to the previous count to get a new count for that word. The same steps will be called for each word and it maintains the running count of each word. Read more about update state by key using the link displayed on the screen.